Hey everyone, how are you today? Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, um, June 30th, last day of June of 2019. Um, I am live right now in Sebastopol, California, which is in Northern California, up by Santa Rosa, about an hour north of the Golden Gate Bridge. And my name is Sue Brooke, if you don't know me. And why am I here today talking about wealthy mindset? something that I've worked very hard on becoming because of, you know, we all grow up a certain way, right? You know, I grew up in a very small town in the middle of Nebraska, and it was one of those things where, you know, we didn't have money at all, and we were told that um, we weren't really put, it wasn't put in our heads that we could ever have money, right? So it was, it, it's been a very long journey um, of my life. Uh, in particular, trying to determine how to have a wealthy mindset and realize that we all can. So I have been doing some live videos the last few days I got started. Um, I'm sharing some books that I'm reading, and this week it is The Power of Human Connection, incredible book, which I will put in the comments. Um, I might be able to put it in there right now. Let's see if it'll work. Um, uh, maybe not. <laughs> so I will put it in the comments when I'm done with this. So here's what we're going to talk about today about a wealthy mindset and this is on page 207 of this book and it's got a great list to check to see if you actually do have a wealthy mindset or not so here we go and um i did just put it in the comments below so on page 207 so i'm going to go through the list and i might have a few comments here and there but let's just check and see and thank you guys for coming i see you're on all right the first one is wealthy people focus on the big picture or purpose they focus on the big picture and people that um poor people poor people mindset focus on little pictures or daily routines okay and i know especially if you're an entrepreneur daily routines are something that it's like oh my gosh i have this giant list to do um but Entrepreneurs that are actually doing something are focusing on the big picture, on what it's going to look like. And the daily routines are the things that get you there. So wealthy people focus on the big picture or purpose, not on little tiny things, okay? The next one, wealthy people focus on the long-term gain of their, um, of their efforts. Oh my gosh, um, gain from their efforts. Okay, that's what it is. Poor people focus on their short-term results, okay? So we're looking, the, the people that are have a wealthy mindset focus on the efforts long-term, like what am I doing today to get me to where I need to be, right? So, and poor people focus on short-term results, little tiny things, right? Are you seeing a pattern already? Okay, wealthy people have a mindset for abundance. They constantly see abundance out there. You know, little things, like I'm looking out my window right in front of me with trees, with just an abundance of leaves, and, and there's so much. There's, there's more than enough for anyone, right? And so... Wealthy people mindset focus on abundance that they just know that there's plenty of money out there There's plenty of abundance for everyone Poor people have a mindset for security or control They they focus so much on wanting to be secure and um, and having things like right there And they they they're constant. They're the kind of people that say money doesn't grow in trees, right? Isn't that funny that that came up? Okay, next one is wealthy people never play the game of victim. Oh my gosh, this is a huge pet peeve of mine, um, mostly because I've been there. <laughs> I've been there more than once where, and I think everyone has, every single person has where, you know, they either got hurt, you made a bad decision, you trusted someone that, um, that didn't pan out, right? And that's happened to me many times. Uh, but if you focus on being that victim and, and focus on, you know, oh, this person did this to me and that person did this to me and this person did this to me and I'm just have this bad luck, I'm just a victim of everything, that is what um, poor people focus on, is being the victim. Um, they never play, wealthy people never play that it says poor people become a victim on in most of their dealings okay as t har factor says you can be a victim or you can be rich but you can't be both oh my goodness so one of my i guess this kind of goes into what i teach kind of my mantra is 
I truly believe this, and I'm a I'm I'm the person that I, I'm just proof. I'm living proof that I swear anything crappy, bad, uh, negative that has ever happened, almost always. In fact, I'm just gonna say always turns out to be the best thing that could ever happen. You know, I if, if those of you who do know me or have known me for a while know my story of being married to a musician and giving up my my identity basically and my passions and everything for to make his dreams come true and then being in a terrible car accident after that and all these terrible things happened where I was 44 years old I had no money in the bank but you know what I of course I played the victim I, of course I did anybody would for a while and then as soon as I got out of that thought and went you know what this is the best thing that could have happened to me and that is when my business started uh, flourishing and that's when I became the rock star per se um, in my story so do not be the victim I mean you can have I, I have a friend that used to say you can have a pity party like invite your friends <laughs> do like a night where it's a pity party and go ahead and cry about it and be the victim like for that night and then when you wake up the next day be done with it okay and be out of that victim mode so wealthy people do not have a victim mindset Okay, let's see what's next here. Um, oh, wealthy people learn and grow. Poor people think they know everything. They think they already know everything. Oh my goodness, this is another big one for me too. Um, wealthy people are constantly learning. They're constantly buying books. They're constantly learning. They're going, they're investing in themselves and their knowledge and their their education and their their personal development and all those things and never think that they know it all. Well, so, and going along this line, I don't know if it's gonna be in the rest of it, but wealthy people hang out with people who are smarter than they are, okay? Because they know that they can learn from them. And poor people want to be the smartest one in the room. They think they know it all already. I've had several people that I've worked with, you know, clients that, you know, you have the client that it just sucks it in. They're the, they're, they're, they're the sponge that just wants to keep learning. And then if they've heard it before, they go, yes, thanks for the reminder. I needed to hear that again. And then when you, you have a client or someone that you talk to that's got the poor, person's mindset they're like oh I already know that I already heard that before I already know that those are the people that do not have a wealthy mindset so that is the next one wealthy people learn and grow poor people think they know it all wealthy people focus on their why they hey Casey how are you doing wealthy people focus on their why poor people focus on their how okay um, wealthy people are usually the entrepreneurs if we're talking about business and entrepreneurs that they have their passion and their why why they are doing what they're doing and that's what drives them and the poor people are like how they're, they're wondering how to do it so they spend so much time trying to figure out how they're going to get to where they're going to be that they never accomplish anything right and because you just focus on the why and the how will actually come so the next one is and those of you guys who are just joining me i am reading out of the power of human connection awesome book on page 207 and i did put a link in the comments below so my this is on my little series of things that i'm learning from all these books i'm reading okay next one wealthy people spend time on personal development training poor people skip on the how-to training which is kind of what we just talked about next one is wealthy people visualize what they desire they visualize they see what they want poor people wonder how they will ever get what they desire they just automatically go oh well you know I'm not smart enough I didn't have this growing up I don't have this I don't have that all negative things but um, wealthy people their mindset they have vision boards I have vision boards all over if you could see my place in my in my bedroom when I wake up I look at my vision board I have them out here where I'm working I'm constantly I have one on my phone and I'm constantly putting things out there to visualize what I want and there's endless stories of how vision boards actually work right okay so uh, wealthy people again focus on the visual visualize what they desire the next one is wealthy people leverage their time talents and money with relationships think about that I'm gonna read that again wealthy people leverage their time talents and money with relationships they focus on building relationships with people poor people guard their time talent and money with fear so that is just another one I 
my story. Those of you guys who know who I found my sister on Ancestry. I moved to Northern California. I didn't know one single person up here. My goal in life the last year and a half that I've lived here is building relationships. So, um, and that's what's important to me. Not um, like like what I was saying, uh, poor people guard their time and talent with money and fear. So they, they just kind of hide. Wealthy people don't think about it. They do it. They don't think about it. Poor people think and talk about it and never do it. Oh, heavens, this is a big, 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 big one. Um, so yes, so wealthy people actually go, here's what I wanna do. This is why, why, and they go do it. They take action. They actually make it happen. And poor people think, oh, you know, it's just too hard. You know, I'm not smart enough or, oh, I, I better figure out how I'm going to do it before I actually do it. And then they end up dying, never following their dreams. So uh, take that one to heart. Write that one down. Okay, next one. Let's see. see, see. Okay, wealthy people celebrate the success of others. They actually love it when other people are succeeding and they celebrate with them. Oh, this is a big one. Let's guess what poor people do. Poor people judge the success of others and they feel like they put them down or or are jealous. Jealousy, ooh, bad, bad, bad thing. So successful, wealthy people are the ones that love seeing other people succeed and they celebrate it and they and they follow those people and watch them and they're they're happy for them. Poor people are like, oh, you know, I can never have that. And, it, you know, they're, or, or they make excuses for the other person. Oh, they have this person to help them or that person, or they have money or they have this and that and the other thing. So yeah, wealthy people celebrate success of others. And actually, I'm just going to add to it, learn from that too. Okay, two more. Um, again, those of you guys that are just joining me, I'm reading from the Power of Human Connection. I put the link in the comments, and I have this is my series on um, things that I'm learning from all these books. Okay, wealthy people believe they can have their cake and eat it too. They actually believe that they can have their cake and eat it too. Poor people don't believe they deserve cake. Oh, this is funny. So they order a dog donut focus on the whole and wonder why they have nothing okay that's funny wealthy people believe they can have their cake and eat it too wealthy people just believe it it's like yes i can have that and i'm going to make it happen and and i have it all this is just funny i'm going to read it one more time poor people don't believe they deserve cake so they order a donut focus on the whole of the donut and wonder why they have nothing Ooh, that's a bad one okay next one this is the last one in the book here wealthy people know how to set their money blueprint poor people don't know they have a money blueprint right they don't know so they focus on how on, um what it is what they want they determine this is what i want this is how much i want to make this is what i want to do and then they figure out how they're going to do it and then they go and do it okay so there you go there is my tip of the day once again i'm reading this week from the power of human connection i have the link in the comments so go check out that book it is really really good it's all about building relationships and building your business for that and it has tons of amazing amazing great things in there so anyway go out and have an amazing day i'm going out to meet some clients and some friends and i hope you guys are having a good time welcome you guys thank you guys so much for coming i appreciate it those of you guys want to talk a little bit more about this topic i would love to chat with you just go to meetwithsue.com and set up a time to meet with me and let's get on zoom and just get to know each other and i'd love to find out about what you do in your business and how i can help or how we can work together so love you guys thanks again for seeing you and let's see diana is on thank you for sharing let me know when you're on next oh thank you i am actually trying to do these at least once a day i have so many books i've read and i've marked them up and i'm just going to share my my favorite um favorite things that i actually use in my own life and i hope it it will help you with yours so anyway have a great day you guys see you later